Welcome back, friends. It is Angela, the Traveling Crafter. And I was just sitting here working on these books, and I thought, well, why not just hop on and maybe do this together? So here we go. I've got a bunch of Junior Elf books, some that I have had, a couple, like this one I had with a lot the other day, and this one too. And <clears throat> I thought, well, I think I'm just going to turn them into journals. They're easy. They're small. They don't take long. And so I started taking them apart a little bit. These are less than five. So about four and three quarters by just under six and a half. And that's when I went, okay, let your friends see this because maybe they don't know. So we're just going to look through some of these. What I'm going to do is just start the process. I This is the one I had been working on, which I'm really bummed out about. Because I, I need a solution. Maybe you guys have one. <clears throat> do you see how the L is kind of gone, right? Now, what happens is when you open this book up, this one I had already started taking apart. So that's the back. So this would have been the spine. So we're going to have to make a new spine no matter what. I love this. Do you think I could get away even though you can't really see the L? I mean, I would probably do something over it anyway. I just want to use it. I don't know. I mean, the back's not that great, so I'd probably cover it anyway. But that aside... Here's what I ended up with. So these I <clears throat> I already kind of cut up, but look at the images. Oh my goodness. That little donkey is just cuter than a bug's ear. Look at little donkey. So we gotta keep the images. And <clears throat> then these, this is where I how I got to that point where I had cut those apart. This was cut all the way through, all the way to right here. And then it looks like it's not. So then I could use these pages in it as they are if I wanted as signatures and just kind of put them in. I couldn't do it like I do my ideals. Oh my gosh, that's right. I need to get my ideal magazine out. So I think what we'll do first, so Let's do something with this one. All right, let's just use this and just cut these down. Of course I could, I mean, I could have done something with those other ones and tried to make it work and put them back together with washi tape, but like, see, it's all discombobulated. So I opted not to. But I think we'll grab some washi and do the other ones. Okay, this guy, he's got some issues on this side too. And let's see what the issues are. Is it gonna break? I think I can straighten it out. We can probably make that work somehow. The other thing I could do is, let's see, we could make a journal cover with some of these bright colors. I'm just going to cut that a little ear off a little bit because just to straighten this out. We could make a journal cover, pretty this up around it just like it is and use it as the journal topper. So that might be an option, but we'll save this one to the end. Um, but we do know, regardless, we're going to want to, I want to use these pages just like they are. So we're going to just reinforce them a bit. And let me grab down my washi. I should have thought about this before. Okay. 
And what do we have? We have some pretty bright colors. Some oranges in there. What, what do we have in here? Okay, so these are more the pinks and the blacks. Um, do I have one? Oh, here's one. Will that go? I think that might work. What I am going to do is... Oh, I just realized I didn't tell you all thank you for watching and subscribing. Thank you for watching and subscribing. And if you're new, welcome back. And if you're noticing, I have cat hair all over me because I was uploading some videos and Miss Izzy decided she really needed some kitty cuddles. And she climbed right up on top of me. And I have a black sweatshirt on. But I need to get ready to go out this evening with my daughter on our about today's Valentine's Day. On our Valentine's date anyway. So I gotta change shortly. Alright, so what all I'm doing is just reinforcing these so I can use these as they are in the journal. It's not very straight, is it? But I'm not really gonna mess with it only because these pages are kind of fragile. Okay, so now we can use that as they are. We're good to go there. That was a little wankety. Okay, how about these two? Well, that won't work there, so. Ooh, while I'm thinking about it, I see something else I need to get out. Um, how about just yellow? That will work. I'm just, something has gone awry with my, see that? I've never had that happen before. I mean, I know it's been a while since I used it, but wowza. I keep having to wipe it off and it keeps exploding out the top. If anybody has ideas why that could be, let me know. I just want a little bit of this. So I hope you're all having a, let's see, what day am I going to be put the, putting this out? Friday. I hope you're having a great Friday. And that you have something fun planned. This is the first, I don't know, I shouldn't even say that because if I do, then something is probably going on and I don't know. But Super Bowl is over. Stuff at the venue is over. So I think this may be the first weekend we don't have anything going on. And if that's the case, I think, oh, Dave and I need to, well, I say that and then I forgot. We're supposed to have a blizzard. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, there's got to be something fun that Dave and I can do since we didn't get to do Valentine's Day. Hmm. We shall see. Gosh, that little cute little donkey. Okay, um, let's see. We'll pick something a little more neutral for this one. Maybe. All right, and while I'm thinking of it, I'm grabbing these out for Sewing Notion Sunday because we're going to use those. So if you're watching this today and you've got... Some... What do they call those? I mean measuring tapes, but are they, it's in Chinese, so I can't even tell you. This is going to drive me crazy. Look at that. It's just, it's everywhere. I don't know. See, watch, look. Maybe I need to like undo the lid and get the pressure off of it for a second. And don't let me forget to put that back on. <laughs> I'm so good at asking for your help, and I know you can't tell me. You're probably yelling at me. Okay, that did stop it when I did that, I think. Okay, now I'm going to put it, tighten it back up. Well, that was not straight at all. 
That might have done that might have done the job. So weird. Good Lord Angela. I guess it looked more off than I thought. And I always do that so I don't lose them. Okay. Use just a little more glue because this this washi, in my opinion, does not really stay very well. Had to resort to using all my tools instead of my fingernails. I'm starting to remember. Okay, so now at least this is red. The pages are what I say, what I call viable for signatures, and we can put a journal together. And then we can decide what we want to do, what kind of journal we want. So really, what's that? All you really need is to, you know, to deconstruct your books. Just some tape, some scissors, not to deconstruct it. Some scissors, maybe an X-Acto knife or something of the sort. So this one, the cover looks pretty good. Um, However, somebody really wanted to make sure the book pages stayed together, so this was the other one that was also duct taped. So I cut those out, and we're going to set all of the, our donkey aside over here, and then we'll put this one aside over here. So what I think I'm going to do, let's see. Oh, this one, this one I took apart. And I thought, oh, great, all the pages, because not all the books have, they're not made like a signature. But then I looked, and there are pages missing. So I don't even have a full, and these, it looks like these are pages that will need to be made into like a journal card or something. But again, adorable. So with this one, what I think I'm going to do because it's, a, well, I don't even have to really try. There we go. That's taken apart. And on this one, because there's so few pages, we're going to do something with the cover and get it ready. I really want to take that. Uh, no, I'm not going to. All right. Well, this is so fragile. I didn't even have to do anything with it. It just came apart. All right, so now I want to get this ready so I can turn it into an actual journal cover. So now you're, the other thing that you will need is some kind of fairly durable chipboard or something of the sort. Okay, it doesn't look like that is actually really dirt. It is just wear. Yeah. Okay. And all we're going to do is make a spine. So I think I'm going to make this. I just want this to be a single signature. So I'm going to make the spine one inch wide. So I need to cut. And he, this is how I do it. You can do it however you wish. I am going to mark that I need it to be cut right there. Okay. So we need it to be one inch wide, which I didn't even really need to. Oh, Angela, let's see. let me grab my. Hold, please. I just dropped a piece of plastic very close to the to the heater. <laughs> <clears throat> now what I do is I cut two of these because I want it to be extra sturdy. I'm just taking this down here so I can see. Okay. And this isn't really, really heavy cardboard. And that's the other reason that I'm doing this. And we need one more inch. Let's see when we put these together if that's going to be thick enough. I'm going to cut it right here. And then we're going to glue it together. Bada bing, bada boom. So, yeah. I don't know. What? I don't know. 
I'm trying to think. What is... I feel like I've started working on, like, spring things, and so it feels to me like it's already March. <laughs> okay, now that one is coming out like crazy, and then this one isn't coming out at all. So I am simply doubling these up. You guys have seen me do this before when we made journals. Oh, you know what I could do? Except it's too bad I like every single one of these covers. I could have made a lap book out of one of them. Well, no one says I can't make a lap. I could have made one out of the kitties and the puppies book. Gosh, I haven't done that for a long time. I'd have to think about it for a minute. Come on. Have you ever, uh, for those of you who use these Sugar Bell bottles, have you ever had one of them that has popped open? Just curious. I did. Now, I used it for probably two, one or two years. I don't know. A long time. But yeah, it popped a hole right in like the side of it. So then what did I do? I just used my um, handy dandy medical tape. Okay, that's still pretty. I'd be happy if it was one, just a little more thick. So we're gonna do one more. hurt to have, you would hate to have it, the spine be too flimsy. And like I said, this is not this chipboard that I grabbed. You know, I have some that I can just do one, I mean, just cut it one time, but uh, they're big sheets. So this, these were little and these probably came in like packaging of some sort. So they're about that thickness, the cardboard you get in Maybe like sheets or clothes or things like that. All right, now we're good to go. All right, so now we just have a one inch. And a lot of times I will do these much larger than one inch. I'm trying to feel here, see the this one's right at the edge. Okay, we're gonna do this. Yeah, I need to cut that off. Just to shore it up a little bit. You know, this is a great example of keeping things out of the landfill. So all you're gonna do to get them adhered to one another is line them up. I have, I mean, I use this grid obviously for that, um, but you want to leave just a little bit of space in between that so that it can fold easily. Not much, maybe that, that's probably a sixteenth of an inch. Now, um, I'm just going to do, show you how I do this. When I, when I put this down, I hold both thumbs up here. Let's see, let me just make sure. I need to, it might be easier. Hold on. Okay, that does look okay. And I want it to be, and then I just, oops. I press down with my thumbs with the same pressure. Usually I do it right here. That's a little bit off. Okay, and then we're going to have to readjust this. Here we go. And we're going to do the same right here. And just so that I do that so then it doesn't move. That's really the only reason. And I'm not too worried about what this looks right at the present moment because remember I usually cover these all up 
in some way, shape, or form, so there's some sort of pretty on the ends. And the nice part about this med tape is that it does, um, it does go, go kind of, I mean, it kind of blends right in. So even if you, you see that, you could still use it just as it is and it wouldn't hurt anything. And now we're just gonna go right down the middle. Now you're probably probably saying, well, why didn't you just do that in the first place? Well, on the inside, I know I'm going to cover it and I want it to be, I wanted to cover that um, duct tape as well. Um, eh. We're gonna cut that. No, we're not because that's the one thing with medical tape. We're just gonna have to adjust for that. Okay, so now we have a nice new cover. So that one's down. And then these, we'll just, there's not much to do with them. We'll just put them with that and then we'll just have to make a new journal, which that makes me so sad. Um, all right, this one, awesome. It looks really in really good shape. I paid 98 cents for that. Okay, I'm gonna have to get that off. Let's see, what if, how wide is that? Is it one inch? Let's just cut a one inch thing and I might be able to just keep it like that. Let's do a little less than one inch. Let's do three quarters of an inch. And see how that fits. If it does, I'm considering just leaving that because it's relatively good. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's cut another one three quarters of an inch and then we'll do that. In fact, we're going to put them all three together. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. I can't believe that that's, I only, I only did two sneezes. Ah. And then this one. This one's easy. And then we will do the same thing with the with the tape. The only consideration that we will have is that when we make our signature, because this one is not quite as wide as that one inch, our signature probably needs to be considered when we do that. Did I make sure all right let's glue this bad, bad boy in there Here we go. Do I have any good stories to tell? Has anything fun happened? <laughs> anything funny happened? I don't know. Not really. I haven't really, well. I did run some errands the other day, but nothing exciting happened. Nothing at all. I 
things are still out of the out of control expensive. That hasn't changed. <laughs> Maybe I'll uh, have some stories to tell after our night at Mallow, which is where we're gonna go tonight. Okay, now we already have two covers and we've been going for 25 minutes, so that's pretty darn good. Now, do you see the difference here? But I like this, it's a small, I like that size. It'll be fun and a whole lot less work. Okay, so we've got that one done. This one looks so cute. We can keep that in the inside. All right. <clears throat> now, the problem with this one, not it's not a problem, but this is glue bound. It is not Do you see what I'm saying? I'm trying to look. Although Sometimes I can use my glue gun. I'm just trying to see if indeed it's not. Yeah, I think this is. Yeah, they're individual pages. Okay, so we're not going to do anything else with these for the moment because with those we will put on pages in the journal itself. And those that we don't use, we can use for pockets, tucks, and tags. All right, let's do one more. Let's see, what do we got? This one's already, this one again, I've taken out and it is glue, bound with glue. So let's see if this one is decent. Man, we just got all kinds of things together. Yep, I think we can leave this. So we said that was three quarters of an inch and we need three strips. I have to be honest, I've never done that before. You know, just not disassembled it. But I like that size. I think that three quarter inch spine is kind of awesome. Could we possibly get these all done before our time is up today? I don't know. I don't know what condition that other one is. The last one. I haven't, whoa. I chose these because they were all one size and I thought, well, that'll work. I need to clean my mat again. Looks like I have glitter on it which would not be surprising because I've been working on some spring and Easter assemblage projects, DIY projects. Just making sure. Just making sure. So what are you guys working on? What kind of, you have any big projects going on? Are you just playing, experimenting? If you're experimenting, anything fun? I'm all, you know, I'm always up for a good experiment. I do it all the time. What's the worst that can happen, right? Doesn't turn out. But you don't know if you don't try. Oops, wrong side. I love those images. I always tend to, uh-oh.
straighten out there. I always tend to go closer on, put more on the right side than I do on the left side. Now, the one thing I will warn you about med tape is that if you were to stick your finger in there, it sometimes does. It will cut it if you have nails, but since I don't right now, it's not going to do a thing. All right, remember, we're going to cover the spine, so it's not going to matter what you're covering it with. You can use whatever you got. If you have duct tape, use duct tape. If you got Tyvek, use Tyvek. This med tape is <clears throat> has been my friend for a long time. All right, there we go. Another one down. And we're just not going to do anything with this right now. We'll come back to that. We'll do those next. So now we have four, so far, we have four journal covers. Well, no, we have three journal covers ready. We have one, that little donkey friend, that needs to make a decision. Okay, little ducky. Now this one, well, I don't know. Let's gently just try to... Yeah, I think he's too far gone. And this one, ooh, this one. See, this one we can use. Reinforce the pages. Yes. Okay, let's do this then. <laughs> Look how easy that comes apart. All right. And then this side. up and we'll do this one as a one inch spine so right now we have two three quarter inch spines and we'll have two one inch spine and then we'll have one that is going to be I think a journal in and of itself and we'll use the piece for a topper Looking good, looking good. Okay, so one inch and we need three strips. Whoa, Nelly, just hit my my red pens. <laughs> Uno. Thought I might get away with not having to make that cut. Not so much. All right, done. Wow, what a mess I've got. And then I, we need to probably, I was gonna say hang up. <laughs> stop for the day, I need to stop for the day. Clean up my craft room because I need to be at it bright and early tomorrow again. <laughs> my sister had sent a text last night and I must not have seen it. And so I replied, or my mom and my sister, she was asking about, my mom was asking about how, what she should do with her hair. She was getting her hair cut. And so I responded to her and then I went about my business today and I finally saw her response after I sent something to her and she's like, good grief, you're up already? <laughs> and I'm like, wow, what time did I send that? Because I was, I was awake. Yeah, it was 4.15. So see, now you know why I ended up going live. I had lots of time to be thinking of it, but I didn't really think about that until like 6.45 in the morning. I was like, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> uh. And I hadn't got out of bed because I was like, okay, just lay here, maybe you'll go back to sleep. So I tried to read. Well, I didn't try. I read, but I didn't fall back asleep. So there was that. I have been reading. If you're looking for a good author, Demi actually suggested her. And now I, this is the third book 
that I've read of hers. It's Colleen Hoover. So if you've read her books, tell me which ones are your favorite. And I honestly, what I'm reading right now is called Layla. And I'll have to be honest, I'm having a, I'm having a hard time getting into it. But what I've learned with Colleen Hoover's books is you got to give it, you got to keep going because it does get good. She is very detailed sometimes, sometimes too much so. Um, but I understand why. And um, what was the other one that I read? Well, Verity is the one that Demi has in paperback that she gave me that I have not read. And she said that was, of all of them, that was her favorite. Um, and I can't really tell you. Here, let me see. I have my phone or my Kindle right here. My iPad, you know, that thing. I will tell you what it is because if you haven't, if you like to read and you're looking for some good books, her books are good. Okay, Layla is the one I'm reading now. Regretting You is the last book that I read. Oh my goodness, was it good. <whistles> Very good. So check that one out. All right, guys, well, we just set up one, two, three, four, and sort of five journals so that we can finish them. And I think we might just do this together. So I will be back soon and we'll go on and keep uh, creating journals, the signatures. So join me next time. This is a great beginner project if, uh, if you are just starting out. So follow along. I look forward to seeing you. And until next time, friends, remember to take time to just be. Cheers.